What's going on everyone, this is Preed, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video regarding the Marquee Bindings of the Sun King. Um, this is the Fire Mage Legendary um, that is vastly considered the most overpowered one um, you can get, um, aside from the, sh the Shard of Exodar. Um, after 7.1, Pyroblast has been nerfed by about 6%, so they attempted to reduce the amount of damage that our Pyroblast does. Um, not only by, like, they didn't nerf the Legendary itself, they nerfed Pyroblast which I found a little bit weird. Um, I feel like they could have just nerfed the Legendary and left our Pyro damage alone, but it is what it is, and that's the change they decided to make. So this video is gonna be basically um, explaining to you guys how to use the proc that you get off these bracers, when to use them, and what's the best way to use them. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna apologize in advance, I have a pretty bad cold, so if I sound nasally or I just, you know, if I cough a lot, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm uh, pretty friggin' sick right now. All right, so let's get into the video. Um, so what these bracers do is it gives you a proc um, after you consume one of your uh, hot streak procs. So basically when you consume up an instant cast pyroblast, um, you have a chance to um, get a buff that increases the damage on your next pyroblast by 300%. Um, the buff lasts 15 seconds, so you have a 15 second window to cast that, um, to cast that pyroblast. Um, now, there's a lot of discussion whether or not you want to use this pyro cast within your combustion root power window. Um, since I've been using the Legendary, I have not been using the cast within the window just because it feels a little weird and I feel like you're wasting um, time off of your combustion rune of power, so I tend not to use it within the window. I have done tests while, um, while it's it been in the window and the only reason I've found for doing so is that you actually get to save your Fire Blasts and your Phoenix Flames for your second rune of power, <clears throat> so your non-combustion phase if you will. You get to save those casts so that you can chain more um, pyroblast casts within that second uh, rune of power that's the only real benefit that i see from using it um but like i said i have i have yet to see any like uh, sims or any like talk about whether it's a dps loss or dps increase to use it within your combustion rune of power window so that's still left that's still left to be debated but um this video is just going to show you how to use the rotation um with the with the bindings so we'll do a standard rotation um, <clears throat> so hopefully we'll get a proc. Um, I tell me when set up so that it shows me if I get a proc. So you guys will be able to see it down Five, here. Four, so usually we three, two, there you go. Pot, one. trinket, drop a rune of power, pray for a crit. We got a crit. Nice combustion. Got a proc. So you can see here I have that. I have that proc lined up. I actually got two procs there. So after combustion fades, we're gonna drop a rune of power. We're gonna cast that. So that's basically how you're going to be using the, uh, the bindings, like I just did there. Okay, so I'm going to get you, I'm going to let you guys in on a little, uh, a couple of tips regarding the bracers that I've found to be insanely useful. Um, <clears throat> if you notice there, um, when I had the proc and I was hard casting pyroblast, I used the fire blast um, while my pyroblast was about to go off, and the reason I did that was not to try to get myself a hot uh, a hot streak proc. It was to actually get my pyrotic incantation stacks to stay at five so the reason you want to do that is because these stack up uh, um, five times five percent each so if you're at five stacks your net your damage is going to basically be increased by 25 percent so if you're casting pyroblast and you see that your stacks are about to fall off and you have a fireball a hot fire blast up you want to make sure that you use it to keep your stacks up um, that'll ensure that your pyroblast, your hardcasted pyroblast from the bracers, is gonna um, take into account the 25% crit bonus that you're getting um, from your pyrotic incantation. So that's the first tip. Um, the second tip is that you always want to try to use your bindings within a rune of power. Um, when you come out of your combustion rotation and you have a proc, you're gonna be dropping your second rune of power anyways. So it's it's a huge DPS gain to cast your pyroblast within your rune of power. Um, it increases the damage of your pyroblast by 50% plus your bindings increase the pyroblast damage by 300 so that just basically ensures that you're getting the maximum amount of damage um, from your bracer proc so that's the second tip and the third tip is that you want to try to save your ice flows as much as possible for your casts um, the reason for that is because during a boss encounter or just in dungeons in general like this week we have volcanic um, and you're standing still and you're casting power blast for four seconds um, you want to make sure that you can actually get that cast off without standing in anything stupid so if you're standing in a patch of volcanic in a mythic plus dungeon and you're hard casting power blast you don't want to be standing there and taking damage for no reason you want to try to cast your pyroblast with a nice flow so that you can move around 
right? It can be mobile while you're actually casting. So that's the third tip. So that's what I've found useful um, in regards to the bindings. And like I said, um, there's a lot of debate whether or not you want to use it within your combustion window. I advise you guys to try out both rotations and see which one you prefer. Um, like I said, I prefer using it after my rotation has ended um, just because I like benefiting um, from the combustion and the power window with all my casts, but I do understand why a lot of people have been talking about using it within the combustion window. Essentially, the argument is that you're hitting a massive pyroblast in your combustion window, which equals to like let's say it's let's say for example it's three million damage, and in that window you're, you'll be you'd be casting three or four hard ca uh, three or four pyroblasts with your fire blast and phoenix flames that each do let's say 500k. So it works out to be the same amount of damage, plus you're saving your Fire Blast Phoenix Planes if you are using the Binding uh, proc in your window, which I understand. So like I said, um, I don't I don't use it that way, but I'm also not used to it that well. So it has yet to be um, determined if it's a DPS loss or a DPS increase, but with more information, we'll, we'll end up seeing which one's better. So that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If this video helped you, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate all the feedback, and as always, take care. I'll see you soon. Peace.